Hey guys, welcome back. I just bought another $11,000 worth of Tesla shares in this month, and here is the screenshot of the transactions. So have you ever wondered why majority of the big retail investors and established YouTubers who are growth investors are all eyeing on Tesla? Established YouTubers like Dave Lee, Chicken Genius Singapore, Tesla Daily and Warren Relic, even individuals like Emmett Peppers, Frank Pillen, Vincent Rui are all invested in Tesla. You also have institutional investors like Katie Wood and Ron Barron, and recently it is revealed that Ko Guan Liu, an Indonesian tycoon billionaire, is buying and adding more Tesla shares. He now owns more than 6.2 million Tesla shares, and that is equivalent of 6.5 billion Sing dollar or 4.8 billion USD. So today my objective is to show what does Tesla investors see that non-investors do not see. I'll be covering all I know about Tesla's competitive advantage with visual representation. So before I begin, your like will help me grow this channel faster so that this impacts other people's lives as well. So thank you. So people ask Kogan about what he thinks Tesla's price target will be in 5 years and 10 years. He replied 5 times in 5 years and 15 times in 10 years. So how does he get this absurd valuation? In this video, I will try to cover why he thinks it is 5 times in 5 years and 15 times in 10 years. Okay, so let's begin. The most important component of the electric vehicle are the batteries. First, you can think of electric vehicles like a phone, basically a hardware and its batteries. Except that the batteries is more important in electric vehicle because it determines how much range there is. How much can be produced is limited by the quantity and the quality of the batteries. So if you want to produce more cars, you definitely need batteries. Now let me show you why no one can compete with Tesla on producing an electric vehicle. We first look at Tesla's mode for 2021 to 2025. What makes Tesla stand out and be so much ahead of competitors is their 4680 cells and giga casting. I'll link a more detailed video about my coverage on battery tech up here and down below. Creating 4680 will mean a 56% reduction in cost. The most expensive material to make an EV is also the batteries. So if the cost is down by 56%, this means more profit per car produced. Of course, with the cost reduction, as the owner, I will try to increase battery output, increase the volume of battery production. 4680 batteries have honeycomb structures and they are tabless, integrated into the whole car body. This gives 10% mass reduction. So when your car is lighter, your battery can bring you further as well. They reduce and simplify cathode processing, making it cheaper, faster, and much, much lesser factory space is required. So with all this vertical integration, it is 69% cheaper in investment per gigawatt hour. So what is gigawatt hour? One gigawatt hour equals to 1 million kilowatt hour. So to make one Model Y, you need 75 kilowatt hour. And the sale price is about 48,190 USD. So to put things into perspective, one gigawatt hour can produce 13,333 Model Y and the cost of battery pack is reduced by 69%. When battery's capability increase, so for example, the same cell can give you more range, you require lesser batteries per car. When you have more batteries, these batteries can be used to produce more cars. So more cars equals to more profit because people may buy full self-driving software, which is the most expensive software. So the excess cars that exceed the demand can be used as robotaxi, which has the highest profit margin. Because the car is 24 seven operational, no petrol needed, minimal maintenance and no driver. Next, let's talk about Giga Casting. They combine 370 parts into one single piece and no more building to join parts. Those machines that helps to assemble the 370 parts is no longer needed too. So this results in zero human labor, zero machine needed, which also means more factory space is created. Giga Casting is also much cheaper and faster and competitors cannot compete because special alloy is needed. And the material science behind the special alloy is done by SpaceX engineers. So the conclusion to Tesla's competitive edge from 2021 to 2025 is that the cost of revenue is reduced, the output is increased. No other companies can produce the same quantity of cars because they are limited by their batteries. Lastly, capital expenditure reduction. They spend way lesser to produce electric vehicle and they sell you the most expensive software in the world. So are you guys able to comprehend the scale of things? Hence the most important thing is the number of cars produced because this brings more people to use full self-driving and robotaxi network will be created faster. Let's talk about Tesla's mode in the future, 2026 to 2030. Here's what I think will bring Tesla to further heights. Tesla Dojo, Tesla Bot, Tesla Energy, and of course full self-driving and robotaxi. Tesla is probably the biggest robotics company at this point. They have superior AI chip which has computational power that rivals the human brain. It does not cost Tesla much to develop Tesla Bot because the neural net training is really used for full self-driving and the battery technology can be transferred to Tesla Bot too. Tesla Bot does not sleep, does not ask for pay raise, they don't ask for bonus as well and they are operational for 24-7 and I think your jobs will be replaced. 
I'll link my analysis of the economics of Tesla bot up here and down below. You can check it out. Now let's talk about some other Tesla revenue streams and possible revenue streams in the future. We have Tesla insurance. Tesla cars are the safest in the world, so people will insure with Tesla themselves instead of going to a third party insurer. We have monopoly on Tesla supercharger network, so no other EV companies can rival this. It is equivalent of Tesla having their own petrol station, just that it is much cheaper. Tesla may build restaurant and food chain alongside their supercharging network for users to spend while waiting for their cars to be charged. Of course, we have the EV green credit. They get lesser because they're non-unionized, but whatever. Another stream of income is when Toyota, Volkswagen may realize that they cannot catch up with full self-driving and they might license full self-driving from Tesla. So these are my breakdown of where the revenue is going to come from. Moreover, owning Tesla shares will give you discount when starting IPO too. So this video is designed for viewers who can't understand Tesla's valuation but you still have a keen interest to invest. I hope this helps you to understand everything a little clearer. So of course, Tesla might face some execution risk, but I believe engineering supremacy will prevail. Hence, this is the reason why I bought $11,000 worth of Tesla shares this month. I'll be adding more and more over the years. So this company can consistently grow at 50% per year till 2030. So if you like what I've shared, do help me out by liking this video. If you want to show further support, do subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button. Thank you. I'll see you next week.